the easiest way to change the world is through education. Um, it's also the uh, the most difficult way to change the world. Welcome to the second UNESCO Forum on Global Citizenship Education. We need new skills for new times to foster greater respect and understanding between cultures, to give learners tools to make the most of diversity, to develop new values and behaviors of solidarity and responsibility, to harness the energy of young women and men for the benefit of all. At the personal level, worldview is probably our greatest obstacle to change. Cultural change and developing a culture of peace, this is the political task. It requires fostering changes in institutions, in norms, and in cultural practices that may be very sensitive for us to address. Currently, of course, in the challenge to extremism and violence, then what does that mean to be a global citizen in these contexts? And it, I think it's taken a different shape now. It's more than simply learning to live together and love your, your brother and sister. It's saying, we need, to challenge, we need to find another way and to build on the sort of ex, the idealism that young people have. And they do, have, you know, they do want to change society. The practice of the dialogue allows to identify multiple values multiple perspectives. We become more aware of who we are vis-a-vis -vis others and that is incredibly important to, for on an emotional level to develop self-respect which is the basis for respecting others. The gender lens actually makes the global citizenship education discourse so much more relevant because it unpacks it, it explores who is being marginalized, whose voices are being heard, who are being rendered invisible. And I think it is that contribution that is so critical to the evolving discourse. ESD, Education of Sustainable Development and the Global Citizenship Initiatives, uh, they sort of come together in a very wonderful way. And I think it's at that confluence that new ideas develop. But one recognizes that one cannot be achieved without the other. Beaucoup, beaucoup douté de la possibilité de mesurer cette éducation et douté aussi de ses chances de survie en tant que cible. Pourtant, Il a été maintenu par le groupe de travail ouvert sur l'objectif de développement durable à New York. Si cette approche reflète notre habilité à prendre en compte non seulement ce qui se mesure, mais aussi ce qui compte. En matière d'éducation, nous sommes très ravis de ce développement. And what we first need to do is to define actually what we want, uh, what contributes to global citizenship uh, competencies. And once these definitions are made, I'm very optimistic then that applying these uh, also in international assessments and measuring it uh, will be more or less straightforward. So I'm very confident. We as youth rise up for GCED. We invite you to stand up like us. If you have a child in the education system, formal, informal. What we sense among young people right now is a lot of frustration. If you look all across the world, there's a lot of frustration and I think we can channel that and we have to channel that. Uh, people were looking for materials and resources on global citizenship education. We strongly felt that uh, there's urgent need to uh, set up an online uh, platform of database. So this is where you can find the resources on global citizenship education. En dehors de nos salles de discussion et des documents de l'ONU, ce concept de citoyenneté mondiale devrait animer